welcome welcome everyone guys we are live with the golden hard cap this one is the group stage uh actually in the group uh, we have navi we have ea chacha and slot these are the four teams and if i'm correct only two teams from each group will be advancing to the next uh stage of the tournament navi and ea very good friends and these teams were facing each other multi times let's see who will can get the w in this round picastro opening here with the root riders already dropping a bunch of skelly spell trying to distract some of the defenses and as you can see we have overgrowth spell which is now more and more popular trying to hide some of the buildings and letting the root riders clearing everything around and of course and the, on the town hall Breathing around the expo and the multi no smart choice there. I see quite low HP, so maybe she will be forced to use the ability pretty soon. Queen kind of staying out there of the base, but she still can reach some of the defenses. Time so far so good, over two minutes. Now, of course, the all buildings are visible for the troops again, so they are now aiming to clear them. We have, I think, so group of the vaults next to the town hall. He lost the board, and but Ars is stepping in, so gonna do some damage here and he is good he's good he will be hitting that three star here so good job from uh p castro navi opening a with the triple here and in this meta you don't want to select anything even that race spell can help to move uh, for the troops a little bit faster and let them clear the buildings much much faster i guess only stars will use all of mm, we'll see but yeah, it, uh, Root Riders will be definitely uh, dominating uh, in this. We know that. Alright, Achilles is in. Let's go. Alright, Siege Rock has been deployed from, like, kind of from the corner where we have the Town Hall. So we actually have two Pekas and one Pekka will be activated in Town Hall. We are using the Overgrowth spell, also getting actually good value of the free spell. They're not just Town Hall, but the Expo. And the Pekas taking down the Town Hall is even good news for his Root Riders and Vals. Because they are dodging the Poison and also the Explosion. Looks like we have Royal Champion joining, so again we will be using the Hulk and up uh, haste on the RT, she even fighting against the enemy hero but with the help of the super barbs no issue now the buildings are visible looks like we kind of spend some time around the town holder uh, but i don't think so there's gonna be issue for akila still uh, looking strong here now the rc should be parting like kind of this way it would be cool if the rc going for the eagle which she even go not many root riders but if they can open the wall for the king it's still good value here yep king get, getting through the walls hoggies of course which are supporting the royal champion still trying to tank for the rc queen is on the walls she's happy there and it will be three star so nicely done by achilles we saw that picastro hit a triple in one minute 24 seconds this one is gonna be like uh, maybe a few seconds slower so so gg gg all right dima is in as we know uh gaku is not playing today so dima stepping in and dima will be using the root riders as well all right so we have town hall quite outside of the base so kind of easier access there uh he's deploying the stitch bar at the 12 o'clock and we have queen in so using the frozen arrow on the queen here everything coming in Actually, I see kind of sticking with the uh, troops at the 12 o'clock. So what he did, he he made the town hall invisible for his troops. So it was like the IC and the Pekas will be just like kind of walking around. Right now we are kind of chilling inside the core of the base because there are ice golems. Queen cannot reach any of this building, so she's just like really clearing the stuff around. Now the super minions are coming back. The super minions which came out from the siege barrack. Which is kind of cool. If they don't die inside the poison, they can snipe this uh, ground expo. Royal champion. Guys, I don't know. He... Uh, the king, maybe? 
Oh, this is not like totally smash. This is like a little bit closer than he wants. But then maybe we're gonna be defense. Uh, we have multi inferno and the scatter shot. Wall is open this one, but he had to go for another wall, which was like one hit. He still has Pekka. He has Benny, so it is three star. But it is a little bit like closer because you saw that he lost big group of the Rudraidas and the Vals here, but it's still three star. Like the heroes are still very, very powerful here. And with these uh, new abilities, they still can clear a big part of the base here. And Dima still got this done. Yata Bowler, without Bowlers, what is it? No joking. Yata is live here with the Rude Riders. Okay, I'm just quickly checking the abilities and let's enjoy this attack. So far, we have Navi with the two triples. EA with the one triple in. Let's see if they can add a second one. We deploy almost everything right now. We are not using the Overgrowth spell yet. But I think so he's gonna be dropping that very soon, yep, especially over the town hall. What are you also hiding? Uh, Monolith and one of the egg balls. so the infernos are still up there. Uh, Skelly spell so far distracting some of the defenses, so that's actually letting the queen to kind of sneak in. As you can see, she's slowing down the egg bow. King trying to get through the walls because um, all the rude riders decide to go to the bottom side of the base. And sadly that king... Oh yeah, yeah. The giant gauntlet ability is not getting that crazy value because King, all he was doing was just beating the wall and again he's on another wall. So the split King and the Rude Riders didn't really work his, uh, in his favor and now he's kind of slowing down here. We are front of the town hall, giant bomb, tornado trap, poison. So a lot of Rude Riders will now gonna go down here. Oh, this is scary. There is still a lot of dangerous buildings. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be hold. He's not gonna be able to get this done. No way. Phoenix maybe can... No, never mind. Phoenix pulling the seeking air. My, this is defense. This is defense. And poor Yata hitting 89% true star. Uh, he slightly messed up uh, some freezes. But also like the king... The king split was bad. Like, look at this. The king went from one wall to the another wall. And that was when he used the giant gauntlet. This is Yata first fail <gasps> on Town Hall 16. And that's when I am streaming. Oh, no. Eighty one from 81. He hasn't failed the attack. General X, Susie, go get him. Nobody should be able to escape the jinx. <laughs> this happened like a few days ago. All right, so four attacks, four Rude Riders. So on the other side, as we have the defense here, the teams can stop be worried about the time. Now they can just be patient. And Klaus coming in here with the Flame Flinger. You barely see anyone using the Flame Flinger here. But he's using the Flame Flinger uh, the way that he just deployed the Flame Flinger and it's already starting here uh, with the uh, Root Rider. So it's not like he's wasting the time. But the Flame Flinger is kind of like the side on the side why he's pushing with the Root Rider. King using the giant gauntlet, but again, not really moving fast because there are ice golems which are slowing down the King. So the ability are uh, not getting that crazy value. But King is still on the way and trying to get the Town Hall. He's using the freeze to make sure the Town Hall is going to be clear. Queen staying outside of the base. We have Healer Puppet on her. Big group of the Hoggies, I guess, in that Hog. And hey, it's on the Royal Champion here, Phoenix. Hello, the Town Hall is still. Phoenix is chasing the enemy king. Oh, yo, yo, the Town Hall is still there. Wooden dying, Royal Champion, when invisible. Nasty sniping the Town Hall. This one was a little bit messy. I think so, what kind of uh, slow down Klaus a little bit around the Town Hall was the Ice Golems, because when he used the giant gauntlet, the king didn't really move because of the ice golem. So after the king reached the town hall quite late, but luckily the RC stepped in and Klaus still got this done. That's mean Navi hitting the throw triple. All right, here we are. All right, we are still going here with the Rude Riders. 
Okay. Uh, this man is up with the root rider, so we will be not using the overgrowth spell. So we were able to take down one of the raid spell tower with the inferno and the cannon. Now starting with the root riders kind of from the corner here. Using the ice golem with the queen, of course the frozen arrow, Ruzda will be blimping the town hall. So we will be catching the blim and the warden ability here. So most of the root riders will be like kind of patting to the right side where they will mate with the ice golems. Actually, I like the Yeti taking down the egg bow. They should, right? That's good. That's nice. Alright, Root Riders are still moving kind of slowly because of the Ice Golems. Yesterday, like when we were covering uh, wars, we saw a lot of CC where it was like Super Dragon or two Ice Golems and um, Dragon. Today, only Ice Golems. I'm really like curious which is the best. Clan Castle troops to kind of s slow down the heat, you know? I don't really like that uh, Root Riders are outside of the base. Not big fan of it. Now finally coming back, so they start opening the walls. Again, using another set of the barbs, against trying to just sniping some of the defenses, but we are down, like we don't have Root Riders left. And this is uh, gonna be um, very slow right now because the heroes need to be the wall. I like the Royal Champion being deployed and kind of sent into the uh, monolith, so RCOP there. Now, but again, King and the Queen stuck behind the wall. So this one is now all depending on the Royal Champion. Like he has definitely enough army to finish it. It's just if we are talking about time, because he lost all the Rude Riders, that's the reason why this hit isn't the faster one. But Hiroya OP, Queen RC still has ability, even uh, has one freeze to spare EA in the second 3 star. Uh, luckily this one is not single elimination match. You guys are watching the Golden Heart Cap, it is group stage. So we have actually four groups, I can show them on the screen uh, one more time. You are watching the group A, and if I'm correct, the two teams from each group will be advancing so that's mean the teams will be facing each other once and after of course the team with the best uh, score will be advancing to the playoff stage uh, groups actually uh, looking very strong like I have some kind of favorites uh, in each group so I'm very curious which two teams from each group will be advancing uh, but yeah it is very interesting group of the teams for sure is uh, like midnight in the Japan? Yeah, but like uh, these guys don't sleep. Like both teams are playing in many, many tournaments and many times they have to play during the night. Like look at the Monte Qualifier, if I'm correct, uh, Saturday and Sunday is starting 2 p.m. UTC. So there is already evening for them and that's five rounds. So they will be playing during the night. They, they kind of get used to it. It's like nothing new for them. All right, Kazuma. Uh, Kazuma hit, uh, what was it? 68 second triple yesterday. He totally smashed it and boom, he's flying through the base. Like seriously, this base is like it doesn't have walls at all. Root Rider destroying everything around. And you know, like this is perfect kind of example of, of that overgrowth spell because the you could tell that his kill squad was able to clear all these buildings around and now just going all the way back for the final building which is town hall uh kazuma will be hitting again uh good good fast three star king die early it's still very quick uh triple from him nice job nice job by kazuma and that's mean navi will be aiming for the perfect war like we can look at the uh, timing of the attacks so this this one was the one of the faster one 74 seconds oh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was like, what? Like, that's the name of the team. I was like, what? Oh, you confused me. All right, Rigo is in. Let's go. Rigo's zapping as well. So clearing the monolith here and already coming in here up with the heroes. Uh, 
Uh, so all three heroes are in, also pulling the CC, uh, <laughs> CC troops here. So we will go against three ice golems. Actually, we find the Tesla uh, outside of the base. Ice going with the shield. So we use the OG abilities on the Royal Champion here. Also, a lot of skellies being triggered. So poor Royal Champion are still struggling. And now we have finally first attack, but we are not using the Root Riders. We can enjoy the loom. Flim on the way, so that's for the Town Hall. We are using the Raid spell there. Actually, the Sweeper pushed the Brim kind of closer to the Town Hall. Loons are everywhere, so they are trying to destroy these defenses. Haze pushing loons for the multi inferno. Queen still like uh, did some damage before she died. Uh, we still have eagle up, so that means it's still doing some damage. Enemy royal champion up as well, so that's not good because we need to get rid of the enemy RC. He still have head hunter, but he cannot re really send the head hunter yet because if it send it from the bottom side, it will go for the king. He kind of have to go from the north side, but he needs. I don't know, the Exmo will go for it, so I don't think so we can do anything about the Headhunter. And the Sweeper is very annoying here. This could be second defense for Navi, because loons are dropping and it is happening. Now this is not even this time by the one star, but actually EA with the second fell here. Navi got this done. Navi will be earning uh, the W, even if we're gonna go to the final attacks. Navi doesn't even need a triple for the victory here. Yeah, we will be watching a few seconds the giant with the uh, cleanup troops to break the wall. But as soon as they are in the range of the multi archer tower, Ripperoni, Macaroni for them. So good try by Rigo. I think he also sends some of the loons here and they die quickly. Stars, final attack here for Navi, coming with the... Maybe Blizzard Lalo? No, Skelly, Donut. Hold a second, we have five Skellies, four Invis, going, going for the Donut. Alexandra, hello! Welcome, welcome! Alright, let's see which buildings we are aiming for. I have feeling we are going for the Inferno, multi -in -in Inferno and the Clan Castle. And I think he wants both, no? No, he's not using the nether. So that was like what? Three skelly spells? I think I say five skellies in the total, right? So he used like three. Now coming in here with the hero die. Alright, Super Wolbrick opening the wall. Queen using the ability, we have Healer Puppet. Tesla Farm, outside of the base, okay. Warden ability protecting the Bleem as well. Queen is now reaching one of these Infernos. Now he's using like Skelly spell, distracting the enemy Queen as the Royal Champion stepping in there. Group of the Loons splitting into the two groups, so clearing these Visitors. Tornado trap being triggered as well. It's looking good. Like he kind of have now, like you can see that he's not going for the time, like. He just doing a regular skelly donut and lalo hit. He will be ending on the multi inferno RC helping lose here and start with the three star here. This means now we're hitting the perfect war here and they will be earning their first W in the group. Congrats, congrats. You like that hit from stars? Especially that was something different than the Rude Riders. Agree. But I still like uh, more his attack yesterday. He kind of did uh, a really nice mix, even it was like kind of loons, like mini Lalo, how Nagesh say, and with the small portion of the hogs as well, which was kind of cool hit. 
Alright, so we already used the warden here. As you can see, a group of the Rude Riders taking down the town hall. I remember this base. Yeah, tornado trap next to the monolith. I saw it. Uh, there was like, I don't know who attacking that, but he was struggling next to the town hall because of the tornado trap as well. Uh, so I saw this base actually go the defense. Right now, I see it fighting uh, TC. We are using the golem in the clan castle. I guess it's good against the vault. Golem was like kind of meta in, for the lower town halls because when the golem explodes, it actually was able to kill all the vaults. If you remember when the falcon strategy was thing, there was a lot of golems in the clan castle. So it's something interesting to see right now. Uh, but the Klaus army is this oh, sorry, Klaus army. A Maravi army on the Klaus base is disappearing here. And he now have only faith in the Royal Champion. As it doesn't have the ability and we lost the fox, that means Royal Champion will not go invisible. Can Unicorn keep the RC alive? We just need to clear the expo. If the expo will go down, I think so the other troops can distract the defense is long enough for his heroes to clear it is kind of close attack but better for ea having like uh you know bad luck today than during the weekend so maravi gg triple is in ea will be finishing this match with the 13 stars that will be their final scores and as you can see navi how i say earning the first w in the golden heart cup a group stage so congratulations to them and gg to ea uh these are the groups so we will be uh, definitely covering a lot of matches from this tournament there's a lot of good teams and i cannot wait to see them in the action